Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. So recently I was sent a few products to try from the brand Era Perez and I have them here and I thought that I would do a little haul and try on of the makeup as well. A little bit about the brand Era Perez is Australian owned cruelty free natural cosmetics brand. They have some really nice products. And I wanted to kind of go through with you all the things they sent me. For my foundation today, I already applied the Quinoa Water Foundation. And this foundation has quinoa in it to help reduce inflammation. It's oil free and it gives you that really nice kind of satin natural finish to your skin. I would say it's more light to medium coverage. It's definitely buildable. And I really like the way it kind of applied to my skin. I love water-based foundations just because I feel like my skin is really breathing and it's perfect for just everyday wear. And the way I applied it is I actually used the brush, like this small blending brush, and I kind of just applied that. And one tip when you use water-based foundations is to shake it really well to blend the ingredients together. And so I used that. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of the concealer and I have the... Arnica concealer in the shade honey and that is what it looks like and I'm going to apply that on my blemishes and this is oil free um, it's suitable for underneath your eyes and any, any blemishes that you may have I'm going to apply a little bit underneath here as well so again what I like about this product is it blends really easily and it also contains Arnica, which has healing and antiseptic properties. Actually treats the inflammation if you have any acne that you want to cover up. And it kind of it treats that as well um, and helps with redness. Which I really like that when the concealer actually works with you during the day. It does something good for your skin. So I've got a few little places I want to cover up. So the next product I have is a bronzer and I've been wanting to try this bronzer for a really long time and this is the rice powder bronzer and this is in the shade Tulum and this bronzer has a really nice kind of like two-toned um, effect here and it has like a lighter shade and a deeper shade. So you could use this product all over your face because there isn't any shimmer to it. What I like about this product, it's multitasking. So you can apply this on your eyes, on your eyelids, on your eyes, as a bronzer, as a blush, or you can actually use this on your lips. That's what it says, but I'm yet to try that. So I'm going to apply a little bit as my eyeshadow. I love that kind of look of bronzer on my eyelids. And so I'm going to start off with this lighter shade and kind of apply that all over my eyelid. I'm going to apply some of that deeper shade now just to give it a bit more definition on my outer corner and it's amazing how this works exactly like an eyeshadow it just blends so smoothly and this is going to be good for anyone that has oily skin or problematic skin and it's oil free it won't break you out and I've been using this and it hasn't broken me out um, and it kind of like absorbs the oil as well so you don't really need to use a powder everywhere all over your face just on your t-zone going to apply a little bit of that shade the darker shade to the under area of my eye And just to create a little bit more definition, I'm going to use the Aeropress Jojoba Eye Pencil. And I have this really beautiful shade in bronze. It's just like a perfect kind of a bronze with a bit of shimmer to it. It reminds me of a MAC pencil. I forgot the name of it, but it was this really beautiful color with a bit of gold flecks through it. 
So I'm going to apply a little bit of this just to create a little bit of definition in my upper lash line. Just like a tiny little wing. And I've already actually applied mascara, so I'm going to go straight now to bronzer and I'm going to go back to this rice powder bronzer and just going to use a fluffy brush. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. I use this brush all the time and I'm just going to kind of give myself a bit of bronze. And I love this shade because it kind of um, looks like you've just been in the sun, like it's a very natural looking bronzer with a kind of like a little bit of that kind of look that you look a little bit burnt but you're not <laughs> so I'm going to just apply that in kind of like a three and then I swipe a little bit across my nose and I love that this is oil free so you can also take this down your neck and on your chest and um, then because you have the two shades, you can just deepen it up here to create a bit more contour. It's good as well if you um, kind of go more tan in the summer and then you have a deeper shade and then in the winter you have a lighter shade. Really nice multitasking kind of bronzer. So for my cheeks, I have this beetroot cheek and lip tint and this is a really bright kind of vibrant stain for your lips and also your cheeks and this is a water-based formula and as you can see it looks pretty bright it comes in two shades I have the shade joy which is kind of like a ready orange shade and I'm going to apply a little bit of this to my cheeks <laughs> suggest starting with a really small amount first because it does dry pretty quickly and then you can build it up and I just love these kind of bold bright shades on your cheek and then it looks so natural because the formula is really lightweight and you can't see it on your skin you can just see the kind of like either shade on your cheeks and it's also a water-based formula So the next product I have is the, the Vanilla Highlighter in Sun Halo. And there are two highlighters. There is more of a kind of silvery one. And then, then there's this one. And this is more of kind of like a golden champagne tone. And this is what it looks like. It's a really nice cream formula. So this has Vanilla Accord in there. And Vanilla actually, fun fact, Vanilla helps to de-stress the muscles in your skin so that's kind of good if you're applying it um, on your cheeks it also has calming and soothing properties so I'm going to apply a little bit of this with my finger and this is a really nice illuminator just kind of applying it wherever the Sun would hit you on kind of like on the tops of your cheekbones down the bridge of your nose and what I like about this product as well it's also multitasking so you can apply a little bit to your eyelid just to give you that nice kind of golden glistening eyelid that you see a lot in editorials but this is like more wearable and then I'm going to apply a little bit on my cupid's bow So for my lips, I was thinking to either go for that lip stain, which I think would be really pretty. But I wanted to show you the last product and it's a lip gloss and it's the Mango Lip Honey. And this is a really nice kind of bronzy lip gloss. So if you're into lip gloss and you want a little bit of shine in your life, then I really recommend this one. And I'm going to apply that, but I'm just going to apply a little bit of lip liner first. And I don't have an Aero Perez one, so I'm just going to use one by Designer Brands. 
and this is actually one of their new ones and this is the pigment pout long wear lip liner in the shade rich rose a little bit of this on top to the center has this really nice applicator that really hugs your lips as you glide it so it's very comfortable and this gloss is not sticky it kind of feels very similar to a lip oil so I think I'm just going to apply a little bit of powder to my t-zone this is by Tarte and it's the Shape Tape Setting Powder. So guys, this is my finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and your thoughts. I'd love to know and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.